everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I wanted to give you a quick tip on how you can create an email signature in Canva and then put that email signature in your Gmail email signature. All right, I'm going to share my screen with you and we'll get started. So when you go to canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A.com, if you've never logged into it before, you do have to join Canva. You can log in either by Facebook or um, with your Gmail, or um, you can just log in with an email account and create a password. It is free to use Canva unless you use um, any that are upgraded. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in just a minute. So once you have logged into Canva, you will see this search bar right here under what will you design. And if you search email signature and just hit enter, it will bring up all these different templates. Um, you can also create a blank email signature right here that you can just drag your picture, your logos, um, whatever sort of designs that you'd like to add to it. So that is another option. Um, but yeah, you can just look through here, decide on one that you like. Any of these that have a crown, and when you hover over it, it says pro. That is the ones that you do pay extra for. Um, you must be like a member of Canva. Um, I think it's like $10 a month or something like that. It's really cheap. And you have a lot more options as far as templates and things like that if you do the upgraded version. Um, anyway, if you find one that you want to edit uh, let's just say we like this one just click on it and it's going to open up and everything in here is editable so you can double click in a text box type your name and see how that happens if you click on the box and just kind of drag it out a little bit it makes it correct and then if you click on the box you can move that text anywhere you want to and so you do that for all of these. Um, your whole formatting options are up here at the top. So your font, the size font you want, color font, you know, bold italics, if you want it centered or right or left sided, bullets. Um, you can even animate things on these. So then for pictures, if you click on the picture, um, you'll see on the left side here, you have uploads. If you go to uploads, if you've never used Canva before, this will be blank. So you can just click on upload media and find the picture from your computer that you want to upload. Once you start uploading a lot of stuff, it stays in there. So you'll have all your pictures saved and then you can just scroll and find your correct headshot. You can drag it over and drop it and it replaces it. And then if you double click on the picture, you can move it up and down and click done for how it's cropped to fit that space. Um, once again, even with the squares, when you click on a shape, you'll see the color up here at the top up here. You can click that and change what color you want the background, et cetera. And same with this shape up here. You can change the color of that. Okay. Once you're finished with everything, you're gonna go up to share and then download. I always recommend PNG because it is a very high quality image. So just click download. So now that's gonna download to your computer. And now to put this in your email signature in Gmail, you're gonna go to your Gmail account and then you're gonna to go to the settings gear up here at the top right. See all settings and scroll down until you see your signature right here. And then let's just say I wanna put it under all this. I can click on insert image, this little picture right here and then upload. And if it downloaded to the bottom of your screen, like mine did, you can just click and drag and drop and it'll upload, or you can click that blue button to find it on your computer. Once you do that, you'll see it is now in your email signature 
And if you click on that image, you can even change the size of it by clicking small, medium, large, or original size. So determine which size you like. Always make sure with your email signature that you have these both set to the signature that you're using. So mine is called my signature. So I make sure that for both new emails and reply forwards, it's going to attach that signature and then just go to the bottom and save changes. And now when you compose an email, you will see that image is in your email signature. Okay. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Have a great day.